In today's video, I want to show you how to create a flower coloring book. Tools and resources I'm going to introduce in this video can be used for any types of coloring books. So download your desired image and follow along to create a beautiful coloring page in just a few minutes. If you haven't been here before, my name is Anna and I'm here to help you create high quality, low content KDP books in the simplest way. As always, before we start, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and smash that notification bell to receive the notification when I produce videos like this. Thank you. Before we start creating an actual book, I want to show you a sample of the book that we are going to create. For my sample, I'm going to use a flower design. So I decided to review a flower coloring book. But as I said earlier, you can use all the tools for any other types of coloring book. So let's go to Amazon and search for flower coloring book. Let's take a look at this one. As you can see, this book costs $9.73. And let me scroll down to check the number of pages and bestsellers rank. So this book has 80 pages and the rank is 3,367. So if I put the rank on the TCK publishing website, you can see this book sells 896 books per month. That means around 30 books per day. And let's also take a look at the royalty calculator of each book. So based on Amazon royalty calculator, the royalty is $3.69. And if I multiply that by 896, you can see this book makes more than 3000 per month. Okay, let's move on to the second part. First, let's go to Pixabay and find a flower image design. Now you can choose anything you like, but for better results, I suggest going with something with solid colors without any gradients. You can of course try a couple of images and you will find your favorite style. Now I'm gonna go to a website called lunapic.com. On the top left hand, click on upload, choose your image, and once it's uploaded, go to draw and then a stain class. Now right click on the image and save it. So this image looks good, but it's colored. So to make it suitable for a coloring book, we have to remove the colors. To do so, I'm gonna use Photopea, which is a free online graphic designer, but you can also follow the same steps on Photoshop. So on top menu, click on filters, and then filter gallery, and under the sketch section, choose photocopy. Based on your image, you might also make some edits. For example, if I'm going to use this one on my book, I would remove these parts to make a clear edge and add a border to make it pop out. Once you made all of your adjustments, you can just leave it like this with a white background or maybe add a pattern on the background. I will show you how to create a pattern in Photopea in just a few minutes. Next tool I'm going to use is called PineTools.com. So I'm going to choose my photo from here and click on the second option here and then click on detect. Now click on PNG and once it's downloaded, just like before, bring it to your Photopea or Photoshop and apply the photocopy filter. I want to also add borders to my image. So go to effects and check off a stroke. Change the position to outside and adjust the border size and hit okay. There you go, you have your first flower coloring page. Let me also show you how to make the background pattern on Photopea. First, hide your design just for now and then create a new layer by clicking here and then bring a design or draw something on your new layer. For the sake of time, let's go with this design and then go to Edit, Define New, and Pattern. Now delete or hide this layer and create a new one. 
Now go to Layers, New Fill Layer, and Pattern Fill. You can also adjust the size of the pattern by dragging this. For the third way of creating our coloring book, we will need a vector design and a vector design editor like Illustrator or Gravit Designer. Let's go back to Pixabay and search for flowers under Vector Graphics section. Let's go with this one. Now go to Vector Editor. I'm gonna use Gravit Designer, but again, same principles will apply to Illustrator. Now ungroup all of your groups by pressing Ctrl, Shift, and G. Now select all colored layers and on right hand change the fill to white. Once you finish, group all the layers again. Now download the pattern and add it to your background. The fourth and final way to create your book is by downloading the designs from websites like Creative Fabrica, Vectizi, or even Creative Market. If you download the image from these websites, you need to mix and match them together to create a unique coloring book. And keep in mind, it's better to follow the same slide for all of your designs or even download a bundle to create a cohesive book. For example, I found this flower bundle in Creative Fabrica, which has more than 200 flower designs, which you can mix together. In the end, I want to answer a question that many of you guys asked me. So for designs like this, since our image spreads all the way to the edges, you need to add bleed to your size. So if you're going with letter size, which is 8.5 by 11 inches, you need to add 0.125 to the right edge and two 0.125 for top and bottom edge to your size. So on Photoshop or Canva or any other software, when you create your canvas, enter 8.625 by 11.25 inches. You can find the link of the document I'm using here on description. I hope you enjoyed this video and it was helpful. Let me know in comment sections if you had any other question or if you know a better way to create your flower coloring book. In the end, if you liked this video, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and also smash that notification bell. See you all on the next video and bye-bye.